So there is a raging debate in the pro community of Apex Legends about the legendary level 4 knockdown shield and some of the disruption it may cause in the competitive scene. Now, this is an interesting debate because it is very disjointed when it comes to how we think of things in a public match and the way that the community, well, the way the majority of pros really think. But we'll get to the bottom of it. And first, if you're new, smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And as you can tell, my allergies are going absolutely crazy. But that doesn't change the fact that we actually started the giveaway for 11,500 Apex coins. And if you want to win or even have a chance to win that giveaway, all you got to do is take the next five seconds to like this video and check the link in the description where you will find multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries. So if you feel like winning, check that out. It's uh, pretty easy. However, today, like I said, we're going to be talking about the upcoming changes that have been confirmed. Well, the fact that there is a change confirmed coming to the level four knockdown shield for competitive play. You know, it's distinctly for this, I think. That doesn't mean that it won't trickle down and be something that they do to the overall functionality of the item. Now, with that being said, we should first d discuss what the problem is directly in the, the ranked community, we'll say. We won't even say the pro community, we'll say the ranked community. There is a substantially different way the game is played in a sense in that you're actually trying to earn points for surviving as well as getting your kills. So people, when playing in public matches, really the idea is to get as most kills as you possibly can and or to win the game and in competitive play the current iteration at least is you want you really want to get five kills and you really want to get the you know the win or at least in the top three so with that being said the problem with the legendary knockdown shield is kind of more what you've seen right here somebody will get the knockdown on you and you'll get time to crawl away and while that may not be enough time to really get the legendary knockdown effect off and revive yourself it could be enough time for you to not only survive and get more rp for your team even though you don't really deserve it because you're all down or it may in fact be a way for another team to get a huge amount of rp without really doing anything so as you know or may not know in Apex Legends, if a team has downed someone and then you eliminate that team before the people are actually eliminated that are downed, you can clean up and get all those kills by eliminating the downed players or eliminating the final player that is alive. Now this is where my argument against the nerf would come in because if you play the way pros are going to play very opportunistically and you're going to come into a fight where people are most likely wounded or even still fighting and it could be 1v1 with two down on each team, you're going to poach as many kills as you can possibly poach right there. So I don't see how the, le how the knockdown shield is really any better. It's like somebody giving the other people those points rather than you losing them like they're arguing it so you you got killed while they were still up in a sense they were still active in the game and you got killed so i can understand both sides here of why it should and shouldn't be nerfed because i don't i, I think this is more catering to the pro communities who in a game more recently just saw something to, to whine about and I, I don't think that that's necessarily the route we should go with changing things in apex legends so i you know i i don't think that's it i'm i mean i especially don't think if anybody's complaining that like people are actually reviving themselves and then like clutching off a win with it like if you're complaining about that that's like the entire point of the item so 
I would argue that it's working as intended. And because it's working as intended, there's no real reason to change it. So I just don't see the reason to change that item in its current form. I can understand the complaints that, you know, about the RP loss and those type of things. But if you're not really losing anything, who cares? It's, it, you know, like you needed to purge that down. You need to purge that down anyways. And that's the one unique thing about the legendary shield is that you, now you need to make sure that you purge that person or you could lose all of your kills. Now, I could understand non-changes to the actual shield coming, but to the way the shield functions in, in a regard that like, you don't lose your RP if you got your downs. Like, I, I, could, I could see that. I don't think that the functionality of the legendary knockdown shield should be changed at all. I think the way that it functions in ranked with the point system and things like that should be how it's changed, not how it actually functions in game. That would be, in my mind, ridiculous. Now, there is, a, a, like I said, a few ways they could actually change it. They could fix the, the way the point system works so that if you got your downs, you get your points, you get your kills. But also, they could do things like increase the time it takes to use the actual shield, which really wouldn't solve the problem. But it, it would be a change that, could, that would make people less likely to, you know, be able to get that rev the revive off and you know would cause you to have to be in place longer trying to get it off now another thing they could do that may help out quite a bit is make it so there is a double-edged sword like you're bleeding out a little bit faster for holding on to the shield or that you only have a, such and such a window to use it so you're not bleeding out but the effect say has 20 seconds to be used rather than you know infinite now i'm just spitballing numbers i'm not doing any math here but you see my point is that it could be altered so that it the effect doesn't last forever and then the team is going to bleed out or that could be the effect right there is you basically only have a little bit of time in addition to crawling for say like four seconds to get that res off and actually use the uh, use the item before you bleed out because or that's another uh, that's another option if you're not reviving yourself you're bleeding out you like you're going to bleed out much quicker um that's the only real ways i could see to change the functionality in game to the way that the pros would be ha more happy with it without having to change the actual underlying problem which is that when you purge off a team that already has downed players you're going to get the kills for the downed players so whoever does damage to those downed people is actually going to get the thing and that's or whoever purges that final kill will get those kills so it's kind of an interesting problem but i don't think it's necessarily to do with the knockdown shield itself but that being said guys like we've got the new giveaway going on we've been giving away a ton of apex coins over on twitch and if you're interested in hanging out make sure you do we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on we've been streaming every day and we're back on the sub grind over there so if you can come hang out make sure you come hang out and get ready for some potential giveaways happening and make sure you stay in the stream and use all the little crazy doodads that make your avatar do crazy stuff and if you don't know what i'm talking about come check it out you know, I know some of you guys are different time zones and stuff. We're trying to work out solutions for that. Trying to get interested, you know, trying to get more interested in grinding more often on Twitch. And if I could get a double, you know, schedule going on, I would. But it's crazy to think about that playing this much Apex Legends. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys have to say about this knockdown shield nerf or at least some type of change that could be coming to the item or the functionality of the item in season five to benefit clearly the pro community and ranked community if you will but i'd love to hear the floop troops ideas 
on what's going on here and how you feel about this item do you feel as though the community is at large is just kind of whiny or and that this is just another you know point of people coming up with things to whine about and that don't really need to be fixed when we have a ton of other actual technical issues that could be fixed let me know in the comment section down below make sure you get your entries in on that giveaway guys but as always We've got 68,000 members of the Floop Troop moving towards 70,000. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Make sure you enjoy your summer. And as always, have a good one. Beginning ring countdown. Marking our surroundings. Not all of us are in the ring. Hostile close. Recharging shields. Recharging my shields. I need health. Being aimed at. I just gotta patch myself up. I'm taking shots. Recharging my shields. Taking a moment to recharge my shield. Thank you.